Good morning. Um, this is Monday morning. What's this? This is May the 16th, 2022. This is the second week of cosmetology school for me, day six. I will have a playlist in case you have missed the other um, videos that I have. But I just now remember I, I didn't charge my I didn't charge my watch. So I'm gonna try to charge. Look, it's sad. My watch is sad. It's like no battery. So I did bring the charger. I'm gonna try to charge it in the car to see. But other than that, uh, it's a new day. I got all my, all my little cosmetology gear ready to go. I'm not sure what we're doing today. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, I think we're really sp supposed to like pick up the pace this week. But what's crazy is some people, oh, this is shaking like so bad. Some people still don't have their um, their books and their cosmetology kit because the bookstore is out of them, which I don't see how that's possible. Like that's, to me, that's weird for us. You know what I'm saying? Like it seems like the school should see how many students are registering for a course and have the proper amount of um, materials you know, for them to be able to get it from the bookstore. So I don't know what those students are gonna do, but um, that's just kind of crazy. Cause I think they were saying it was gonna take like another week or two until they like, until the shipment gets in or something. So that should be interesting. But other than that, um, that was a that was a little bit of drama Friday. Like I, 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 I see the, like a little bit of the drama unfolding. Um, but like I said, I, you know, I pretty much, you know, I don't mind speaking and laughing and stuff with my classmates, but I don't try to be buddy buddy with anybody. Um, I come to my car and eat my lunch. I'm not trying to be all up under anybody. None of that. Cause that's like one of the ways the drama starts. Like people get buddy buddy. Then people start talking about people. Then word get back or just little other little things that start to happen. So, um, and you know, when you're in a room with a lot of females, um, that's always bound to be some kind of hormonal situation. I need a charger. I got too much going on. I should've did. I, I, I'm so disappointed I didn't charge my watch. But the good thing about it is if you have a Samsung, you can put it on the back of your phone. If you have a Samsung phone, and I can charge it from my phone. So I'll probably do that in class since I I don't know if I'll be able to do it right now that I'm driving. But anyways, um, back to the classroom situation and everything. But like when you're in a class full of females, it's just bound to be hormonal issues. Um, you know, we're, we're hormonal creatures. So, but like I said, even when I was in like elementary, middle, and high school, I didn't really have any problems per se with anybody because I just stay in my lane. Like I've always been that type of person. I stay in my lane and I'm there to do my work, to pass and to get up out of there. And that was my goal in high school as well. So, you know, everything went well with that. Like I've never like had the like, you know, being no kind of confrontation or fighting with nobody. I've never had to deal with that because I don't, I don't do, I don't do all that. But anywho, it's a beautiful day out here. And, um, I got my lunch over here. I've been staying faithful. Oh yeah. My, uh, let me do a little quick. I think I'm gonna start adding my, my, um, fitness inside of the cosmetology vlogs because i don't think i'm gonna do like a separate one because it would be so short i'm just basically updating on y'all on how i've been eating and my weight so that that would probably be like a two three minute video so i'm just gonna put it in here so so far i told y'all like a week ago that i was going to you know like starting school was going to help me be more disciplined when it comes to my eating and losing weight because i did i gained like a little bit over 30 pounds during COVID. So now I'm trying to lose that. You can probably tell in my face, my face is a little more healthy. And so my goal is to, I'm only gonna eat two meals a day, no snacks in between, lunch and dinner. I skip breakfast. 
So I have to be at school at eight o'clock and I'm not necessarily hungry in the morning at eight o'clock or anything like that. So I totally skipped breakfast. Our lunch is at 11.30. So my first meal of the day is at 11.30. I usually bring something small like um, a sandwich and a yogurt or like a Lunchable and a piece of fruit, something small, something that's under 500 calories. It's usually, I'm usually eating around like 400 calories. So then when I get home, um, you know, I eat dinner and my, my goal, just in case you don't know, my goal is between like 1300 and 1500 calories a day. I don't want to go over that. Like I like to stay around 1300 calories but I absolutely don't want to go over 1,500 calories. So by the time I make it home, I usually have like a 1,000 calories to play with or whatever. So by doing that for a week, last week, I have a lot, like I went from, I was 186 and now I'm 181. And I was just doing that for one week. I'm dead serious. Um, I'm gonna start getting like pictures together and then certain pictures and stuff like that. But yes, I was just so excited that like the, the it's the consistency, it works. Just gotta stay consistent, gotta stay disciplined. This weekend we did go out, so I did eat um like I ate like some cake and some ice cream. But this is life. Like I can't, you know, what I'm saying you still gotta live life, but you know you gotta still you gotta know when to cut it off too. Cause I'm the kind of person I love sweets. Sweets is my weakness, and so. To be honest, it's best for me to stay away from sweets, but every now and then I like to treat myself or whatever. So this weekend I did eat, you know, some cake or whatever. But after that, I was like, okay, it's Monday. I'm back on my grind now. You know, we eating clean all week. So, but other than that, that's my quick update. Um, I'm running, a, I'm running a little behind this morning, and that's simply because. I was trying to get everybody breakfast this morning and I was trying to cook it out from scratch. So I had cooked some eggs, bacon, biscuit, and sausage. So I just want to make sure my family had um, breakfast, you know, cause sometimes, you know, I know people, you know, you get tired of eating cereal or stuff that you can just warm up. You'd be wanting some like some food food. So some mornings I try to like get up and actually cook breakfast, but I need to start getting up a little earlier. Okay, I'm just not plugging up my watch, but I'm almost here. <laughs> which, which is not going to do, it's probably not going to do much at all. But it's on 12%. Hold on. Yeah, it's on 12% right now, but oh well. But anyways, um, got some more scrubs over the weekend. And um, I, got my, I got me a wig on for this week because... I washed my hair. I went ahead and took my little twists down. I took those down in class. Washed my hair um, once I got home. And I just pretty much braided it up, you know. And I'll probably wear it like this for about a week. And then repeat the cycle or whatever. Or, I, or I'll just take the braids down and wear a braid out for a week. And then, you know, wash my hair. But I've noticed that um, since I've been natural all the way, that I have... I usually like when I was relaxed I was I would wash my hair every week faithfully but now that I'm natural I would say like every other week like I would I usually my my watch is not getting a good connection man I know I kept hearing something vibrate but anywho um I will up date you guys later i'm gonna go ahead and turn this video off and make it on to school i think i'm about five minutes away so i'm almost there but anyways i'll update you guys in a bit in this position, the palm of your hand points upward. It is most often used to sculpt along diagonal lines. 
Under your fingers like in the previous example. Yeah. But when lifting the links on the top of the head, you will need to slide I mean, the hair along the top of the head. It hurts like hell to get them out, but it's like... Under the hair to reduce smoke so and create mobility. Like so I'm outside on a break right now. It's really, really pretty out here. Uh, we have field trips through here. What I was saying is we have field trips through here all the time. They just came in our class a minute ago. Since I've been here one week, we've probably had like two or three field trips from students just coming to the class and, you know, from different schools and stuff like that. But um, it's super nice out here. Um, we'll be going on lunch probably in about another 45 minutes or an hour, but she gave us a little breather because we've been doing a lot of book work and um you know she had the projector up teaching us about today we've been learning about um different ways to cut hair and different tools to use like different like um regular shears standing shears clippers um razor different things that you can use and different techniques on how to hold the hair pull the hair different techniques on how the the length affects how the haircut looks the angle that you cut it at we've been covering stuff like that today but um man it feels so nice i might it made me want to sit outside and eat my lunch instead of in the car i probably sit in the car with the windows down instead of the air on it's like really really pleasant you can see like the leaves on the trees blowing so it's a nice little coolness out here but other than that um that's what we've been working on so far i've been working on my workbook this morning as well so yeah i'll update you guys in a bit Today was a lot of, um, we did a lot of work in our workbooks, trying to like get caught up and stuff because technically we're behind um, from that first week. But um, there was a little more drama today in class. And I can tell that that really changed the teacher's mood for the rest of the day because I could, I could tell she was, you know, I could tell her mood was different. So there was a little more drama today. And I don't understand, man, why people just can't come to school and, and do their work and just get out of there. Like, I don't understand why people don't lead a drama. Lead a just, just crazy. It's crazy. But other than that, um, today was a good day. Um, it's pretty much all I have to say on that. Be ready to get headed home, see my family. And we probably gonna do a little ripping and running or whatever. But that's that on today, you guys. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.